Welcome to our Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liter review. If you've been thinking to yourself, I want a big old burly sling, whether for EDC or travel, I've been testing this sling out for the past few days. I'm gonna break down all the pros and the cons, and you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video, because if this is not the sling for you, I'm gonna give you a few alternative recommendations for slings that might better suit your needs. Let's talk about the gist of the Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liter. If you're looking for like a big, manly, burly sling that you can use in your everyday carry, your travels, your hikes, that's what Evergoods is bringing to the table. Evergoods has like a cult-like following for their gear. And the reason is their gear is simple, incredibly well-constructed, and quite versatile. The sling can really do a lot. Some of the top features, the beautiful ballistic nylon fabric, Big old chunky YKK zippers to get you into the main compartment. A back compartment with a bit more organization. Some decent ventilation for a sling. And the ability to be worn as a sling or a fanny. It's advertised as a two liter, but holy moly, it feels a lot bigger than that. It currently comes in three color options, black, burgundy, and sage. It weighs 0.8 pounds. This is the sling when it's empty. And this is the sling when it's fully packed out and worn on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. And I'm gonna pack out this thing throughout the entire view so you can see exactly what it fits. All Evergoods products come with a lifetime warranty covering you against any manufacturing or workmanship or craftsmanship defects. And for all you see before you, the Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liter is currently running around 100 USD. And if at any point in the review, you're like, yeah, 100 USD for that burly sling fanny combo, count me in. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about the outside of the Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liter. First up, let's start with the branding. There's two types of people in this world, people who love putting patches on things and people who didn't know that was a thing. If you love putting on patches on things, this is made out of Velcro, so you can go ahead and Pop your patch on, cover the brand. Otherwise though, it is a bit loud and sort of hairy, Velcro-y. But while I'm not crazy about that, I love this ballistic nylon. This is a custom developed 840D ballistic nylon. Ballistic nylon, like back in the day, was developed by the military. And while it doesn't like quite stop bullets, it's so durable and so weather resistant. While still looking techy and nice and just you can't go wrong with ballistic nylon ever. It's like a miracle material. We'll get into these two pockets in the next section. So let's talk about sort of the back. You can see right here, Evergoods is sort of throwing some ventilation your way. These cuts and the material that's being used, it's gonna help give you a bit more breathability, which I don't think is usually necessary on a sling, but this sling's got some real estate. Compare it like to this one liter sling from Air. It's small, you know, it's just taking up this little spot on your, on your torso, right? But this thing, you know, we're taking some, we got, like I said, it's taking more real estate and because of that Evergoods is like, let's just give you some good old fashioned wind to help you on those hot sweaty days, which is definitely appreciated. Now let's talk about the fact that this is a sling in name, but it's actually a sling fanny in reality. To explain, we have the nylon webbing, which is a really nice material, a little silkiness to it, just feels a little extra premium. And then it leads to the buckle, made by Duraflex, they make some of the best hardware in the game. And the way the straps are set up, they both come out of the sides horizontally. That's the direction, right? Horizontal, we'll go with that. Now this allows you to go into fanny mode, no problemo, right? Because with the way the straps shoot out horizontally, it just allows a great fanny experience. But when you're rocking this bad boy in sling mode, you're gonna kind of get this little gappage sometimes. Do you see, see what I'm saying there? It's not quite the flush sling experience that I have a tendency to prefer. But that's sort of the compromise when you're getting a two in one, right? You want it to do both very well. As opposed to the Tortuga Travel Sling, which I just reviewed, and it has a different sort of strap setup, which it fits the torso a lot more comfortably, but you just can't wear this thing in fanny mode because of it. So everything is a give and a take. Overall though, wearing it in sling mode, it's not bad. It's still a very nice fit. It's not quite as flush as like the Tortuga Travel Sling, but it works nice. Unfortunately though, Evergoods, <laughs> they didn't give us any uh, web holders, AKA dangle stoppers, AKA stop the dangle. So these are kind of flopping around a little bit. I would like just some guys just kind of keep them in their place. So this is going to annoy the crap out of me. But I'm curious, what do you think? Do you like a strap setup like this so you can do sling and fanny mode? Or do you prefer just like the sling cut? Let me know in the comments below. Moving on, let's talk about the inside of the Evergoods Civic Access Sling 2 liter. We got two compartments. The first one you get into with these big old junky YKK zippers. These are number 10s, oh yeah. They're huge, they're manly, they're burly, and they're durable as effing hell. Evergoods uses these signature zipper poles. I love them, they're simple, little knot at the end, gives you a little extra grip. But one thing to note, that Evergoods never really does PU coated zippers. 
ever. They are like, don't worry, because we do a DWR spray. And they literally spray it, and the spray does a great job of keeping the rain out for some time. How long that spray lasts for is a controversial topic. So if you're looking for the most protective zipper sling experience, I don't know if this is it. I'll leave you to make your own call on DWR. But the good news is the zippers themselves, YKK, and they rock. And they get you into the big old main compartment, which leads me to say something controversial myself. I mean, I'm not saying that it's not a two liter sling, but it just feels a lot bigger. Keeps in point, like this Tortuga sling, 2.5 liters it's supposed to be. There's no way this is bigger than this. Just somebody's lying. And I'm not saying anyone's lying. I'm just saying like measuring the literage can be complicated. And at the end of the day, just know that this, this has got some space to it. But what it doesn't have in this main compartment is any additional organization. No extra pockets, no extra compartments, nothing. You just got a key ring holder and that's it. So let's start packing this bad boy out. Obviously the keys are gonna go on the key ring holder. I like the location, super easy to access. They're kind of out of the way a little bit. Now, one thing to know is if you are looking for a sling that can handle a water bottle, there are not a lot of options out there. There's just not, there's, there's, like, there's like none almost. But this bad boy, I'm gonna say can fit a water bottle very well. Holy moly. So the design of this compartment is very conducive to big, bulky things. This is a 23-ish ounce water bottle from Columbia. So you can see it fits in there very nicely with room to spare. You're not gonna get a big old one liter Nalgene in there, but at the end of the day, it's a sling that can accommodate a water bottle, which is awesome. So I'm gonna keep my water bottle in there. Let's say we're going on a hike today. Throw a couple protein bars in there. Some sunglasses. I mean, this thing expands, dude. It's a really nice, comfortable fit. Because of the lack of the organization, I think that bulkier bits of gear work better in this compartment. And the smaller bits, probably better to go in the back. Yet again, YKK zipper, DWR coating. Let's start with the mesh pockets. Now these are interesting because when you unzip, you actually have what looks like one pocket, but it's actually divided into like three or four pockets. So you got the mesh on the outside and sort of a fabric divider right behind it and then a sleeve in the back. So it's actually one, two, three pockets. Free, we can throw things like battery, some wires in the back, keep them out of the way, right? Maybe some tissues, zip that up. Not gonna lie, I like this pocket. What I don't like though is kind of the other pocket. And the reason being, these pockets are very flimsy. They're loose, but a little too loosey-goosey. But yet again, Evergoods has like this witch-like ability to make things that don't look like it should close, just close. And that's a testament of their great design skills. They're wizards. And you can see right here, we've got a sling that packs a punch, got a water bottle on it. It's good for a hike, good for the office. It's good for travel. Just really impressive. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, one more thing too. It says, designed and developed in Bozeman, Montana. It's a little misleading. These are made actually in Vietnam. Not that that's a bad thing though. Cause I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually making my own backpack and maybe a sling very soon. And I'm also making them in Vietnam because Vietnam makes the best bags and slings. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's cool, this dude's making his own bag. I wish I could find out more information. You can, because I'm actually building my bag and maybe sling soon in public. And I'm getting my community to help vote on some of the key features. So if you want to see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up in Vietnam, then check out the second link in the description below. That'll tell you more about the building a backpack project, where we are, and how you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Civic Access Sling 2 liter. Overall pro number one, impressive capacity. I mean, it's one of the few slings out there that can fit a water bottle. Overall pro number two is I love the ballistic nylon. And overall pro number three is that it can be worn both as a sling and a fanny. But it's not all unicorns and rainbows over here. I got some cons, here they are. Con number one, got some dangle going on. Con number two, I personally do not have much use for those back pockets. And con number three for me is just a lack of clarity on the long-term effectiveness of DWR spray. If you have any like expertise in this, please let me know in the comments below. But if you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, dangle those back pockets, the DWR spray, they mean nothing to me. I love this sling and I'm gonna buy one. Just remember that we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. That link makes sure that you get the best price and we sometimes have discount codes. But that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But if you're not quite sold and you want some alternative sling recommendations, see what else is out there. Let me throw a couple your way. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Nomadic Navigator one liter sling. This is for you if you're like, sling that can hold a water bottle, that's crazy. I didn't know any slings to do that. And there is actually one other. It's the Nomadic Navigator sling one liter. It's got this like expansion pocket where you can throw a water bottle in there. It doesn't work quite seamlessly, but it does work. And it's more urban. If you just kind of want different sort of take on a sling that can hold a water bottle, 
take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full Nomadic Navigator Sling One Liter review. Alternative sling number two is going to be the Tortuga Travel Sling. This is for you if you're like, I am never wearing fanny. Like me, oh, it's just not my thing. I love being in sling mode and I'll never be in fanny mode. So I don't need a sling that can double up. I just want the most comfortable sling experience possible. That's what this guy brings to the table. We just did a full review. And to watch that review, just head down to the description below and you'll find a link to the full video. And alternative recommendation number three is gonna be the Bellroy Light Sling. It's a great outdoor slash urban slash travel sling, compressible, a bit more organization, and super comfy to wear. And to learn more about the Bellroy Light Sling, just go ahead and watch this video right here. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. My name is Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.